Welcome back. Uh, this is going to be my daily forecast for Tuesday, December 22nd, 2020 of the commodities market and the precious metals market. And if you want to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon if you want to get access to this full technical analysis, our signal service or our online trades or uh, or courses i'm sorry so uh, this was, has been a long day but it has been a really really exciting day and very interesting day to be to be fairly honest so there has been a lot of news good and uh, basically terrible and also um and also very good for example there is expected to be a new stimulus bill um however there is also um, the development of a of a new corona strain which is uh, terrifying to be fairly honest everybody's hoping that coronavirus will be over and now all of a sudden it has mutated and uh, that is freaking everybody out also the markets um, and then there's the situation between the brexit situation between um, britain and the european union but we'll start by looking at the euro us dollar index and as you can see we rallied all the way up towards the 20 exponential moving average and then just collapsed so this is a very bearish uh, indication that you have all of this selling come, go, occurring when you get too close to the 20 exponential. So, um, but at this point, I don't think that we are going to test the lows again. If you look at these technical indicators, they are actually turning around. So Castic, CCI, RSI, and uh, the MACD is still under the signal line, but it may well, may well be that we'll have a few days where we'll gradually get closer to the 20 exponential again. That is possible. Uh, the other um, other thing that can happen is that we just collapse from here. That is also possible. Just keep in mind that we're nearly oversold. We're at 31 and the RSI. So there are th two things that basically can happen here. So just pay attention to the, to the US dollar index. If we rally towards the 20 exponential again, you'll see the same thing um, that we saw today, for example, with oil and also with gold and indices, uh, that they will uh, fall quite significantly. And when this basically um, broke down, they rallied. So there is a negative correlation between um, commodities, precious metals and indices, stocks and so on. So, so keep that in mind. So we'll start by looking at uh, oil. And as you can see, we fell really hard today in oil. So we fell all the way down to the 20 exponential, found a lot of support there. This is, it can't be really perfect, more perfect than this. So you can just put a line here for the foreseeable future. And that is every single time we get close to this level, which is 36.2, or the 20 exponential, you should expect this market to rally. So this doesn't mean that we'll go and retest these highs again. Uh, if you look at these technical indicators, they are all turning around. So it may well be that we are going to have a gradual decline again towards the 20 or this uh, support line and then rally from there. So it'll be seen, but these technical indicators are looking more bearish at this point. We were all significantly overbought, so we just needed some kind of bad news in order to get this market tumbling. Um, but yes, it will be very interesting, interesting to see where this market will go uh, the next two three trading days. If we test this level again, which I think is going to happen, uh, then uh, and we rally, then there is a really good indication that we are going to test 50. So let's look at natural gas. So at this point, I did expect this market to absolutely go bonkers and rally significantly to the upside. That has not happened. So there has been uh, news of, of a snowstorm in the United States. And usually when you have that kind of news, these, uh, this market rallies significantly we can just look at what happened only a few years ago or usually in this time of, of the year uh, for example this is back in 2018 and this is to, uh, back in 2000 and 
13 at the end of the year that usually have an enormous spike. Also, in other years when it isn't really that warm in October, November, no cold, I mean, in October, November, you have these spikes. So we'll see. Um, at this point, we have not managed to rally above the 200 moving average in the weekly chart, and we have not managed to rally above the 20 exponential moving average in the daily chart. Technical indicators are very flat. They're not extremely bullish whatsoever. They're technically flat at this point, and that's not a very good indication. Um, so we have been stand, uh, spending um, six trading days at the 20 uh, at this point. Last time we spent five, we just broke down quite significantly. And at this point, I'm um, I'm more betting on that is going to happen at this stage as well. If you don't, if you spend this uh, amount of time at the same spot it's going to break towards the 200 moving average. So let's look at uh, copper. So copper broke down quite significantly down uh, today. We were we went from roughly here 3.64 all the way down to 3.54 and then rallied a little bit. But this has a, this is a market that has been overstretched for a very very long time. Um, it is actually amazing how far this market has gone since March. So we were down all the way down to 1.9, and now we're trading at uh, at 3.57. That's absolutely enormous um, gains in this market. Technical indicators uh, for this market are looking dreadful, but it's it looks like the 20 exponential is st still the bottom. If we get close to this level here, it is basically a buying opportunity. So um, I don't think they will get closer than uh, these, these previous lows. So that is roughly uh, 3.4979 to be very exact. I have no interest in basically shorting this. The closer that we get to the 20, if you can see a rally from there, that is a buying opportunity. So let's look at gold. So Gold is a very interesting market to to uh, to uh, make a technical analysis at the moment. At this point, my theory about where this market is going is still holding, and it is getting really close actually. So we have this upper support line, we have the top here, top here, and then basically we have this uh, trend line there. And uh, then we have the bottom here, and we also have the bottom there. And if we make another line right here, we can see that we have created a, a triangle. And uh, usually what happens is that we just bounce around in between this resistance and support line until we get close to this corner, and then we have a breakout. So I'm definitely bullish in this market. In the long run, this is going to go significantly higher. The question is just when. And um, today we rallied all the way up towards this resistance line. We didn't get there, but we got really close. We broke down all the way down towards the 20 exponential and found support at the 20 exponential. So you can say that it's not the 200 that is the it's, um, support at the moment or this is the resistance uh, support line. This is actually the 20 exponential. So. We're trading in between this resistance line and the 20 exponential. If we break below the 20, then we're heading to 20, the 200, and then probably to the support line. I would be very surprised if that, to see that happen, but it can happen. If we get close to the uh, this support line here and we rally, then I'm absolutely all in in this market. Technical indicators are looking more uh, bearish at this point. The stochastic has crossed the signal line to the downside. The, the CCI is turning around. The RSI is flat, and usually the MACD takes two, three trading days in order to basically turn around. So we may well be that we will test this um, 20 exponential again. If that breaks, we're heading to the towards the 200 and probably this support line. But that would be amazing if we could do that because I would be all in to buy this. In the long run. I believe that we're going to break this resistance line here like we have done in silver and then head towards 1900, 2000, also 2100. So let's look at silver. 
as you can see, we rallied all the way up towards, uh, this was a 27.31 and then broke down again. At this point, I think that we got way ahead of ourselves. So uh, very similar to uh, gold, we had this resistance line here, which we broke out of um, three, four trading stations ago. And then since then we have rallied. So if we fall back from here towards uh, the 20 exponential, that should be um, supportive. And that is basically your buying opportunity. It is highly unlikely that we'll break below this uh, resistance line. Again, this is a very negative candlestick. This got way up ahead of itself. It was way over uh, overstretched. And so that's why we have this major pullback. So if you look at the technical indicators, they are either uh, bearish or flat at this point. So expect this to fall a little bit, probably towards the 20 exponential. If you rally from there, and then that's uh, your buying opportunity. So let's look at platinum. So platinum absolutely got crushed today and uh, we fell roughly down towards 972 and that's these previous highs here. So it ran into that area and then turned around. So roughly here. You can see these previous highs, there's where we found support, rallied again, and now we're above the 20 exponential moving average. So a lot of movement in this market. Um, we also ran into the Fibonacci retracements here. If you look at around this area here, we have the 50 just at, sorry, rid of this, just around here, just above the 50, we found support. So. We didn't test the 50, but I'm pretty sure if we got closer to the 50, then we will basically pull back when we basically did. So at this point, we're trading above the 20 exponential, and that means that 20 is still supportive, and we could basically see this market go higher. Um, I would be surprised if we went all of a sudden to these very highs. We may retest these levels again. If this breaks and we head below the uh, 50 Fibonacci retracement, then we're heading towards the 50 moving average. Technical indicators are looking dreadful at this point, but when you have this massive pullback, then these indicators will turn around. But we also have a lot, a, a lot of buyers coming in and pulling this above the 20 exponential. So it'll be interesting what happens basically tomorrow in this market. So let's look at Pallium. So we broke down yet again. So last week we rallied out of this triangle and now we found another support resistance here at 2.397 and now we broke down again. So this is a market that is very tricky to trade because we are in the middle of nowhere. We have this top here and this bottom and we're just staying in the middle. So last week we could make out this triangle and uh, we did manage to get a trade in because we went into this corner here and then rallied it the other day. But today we broke down again and now we just have to wait. If we get close to this uh, support line, it's possible to buy it. If we get close to this resistance line, it is possible to sell it. But at the moment we're in the middle of nowhere. So let's look at aluminium. So as you can see, we broke down towards the 200 move, uh, the 20 exponential moving average, I was supposed to say, and then found support there. And that is very interesting. Uh, we're trading just above the 20 exponential. Um, if they had managed to hold, then we, it is possible to basically buy it from here. But these technical indicators are still looking more and more uh, dreadful. So they're looking more bearish at this point. So it is the risk that we, uh, if we buy into this now that we fall towards the 50. We have done that before when we were here. Uh, we did not do it there. We found a massive amount of support at the 20 exponential. Uh, but as long as we are trading above the 20, it should be safe. But these technical indicators have to turn around. Um, it is possible to buy it here with a really tight stop loss right underneath the 20 exponential. Uh, but we'll see what happens basically in tomorrow's session. So 
Let's look at nickel. And as you can see, we fell all the way down just below, right where we basically expected it at seven, uh, roughly 7.0. Uh, we found support and then we rallied. But I don't think this is going to be the end of this um, of this fall. I think that we are going to retest this level um, a few times actually, or just trade sideways before going higher. These technical indicators are looking more and more dreadful. The MACD is going to cross the signal line within one or two trading days, and that means that we are going to go lower. If we break below the 20 exponential, that opens the door to the 50 moving average. So keep in mind, uh, this could get really ugly. And I will be paying attention in most of these uh, commodities to the US dollar index. If it starts rallying again, then it becomes more expensive to buy these commodities and therefore demand for them just falls. And the same goes for the prices. So let's look at sugar. So as you can see, we have rallied yet again today. Uh, we're still underneath the, the, we're at the 20 exponential underneath the 50. And as long as that is the case, I have no interest in basically entering this market. We have, um, you can basically look at the trend line here. This should be, um, should be um, supportive so if we get down here it will rally but the question is if we are creating a channel and it looks more likely that we are creating a channel at this point so this will basically basically be the top of the channel and this will be the bottom of the channel and then we'll just go and all the way down towards the 200 moving average so we'll see whether or not that is, that is the case if we get rejected here tomorrow then that is a, uh, quite a burning sign that we are going to go much lower in this market. Technical indicators are all over the place, so they're technically useless at this point. So we'll see. A rally above the 50 moving average, that opens the door to 0 0.15 and also to 0 0.50, 60, 60. So let's look at cotton. So this was an absolutely horrible drop in cotton and it was completely expected because this was a fairly ridiculous rally to the upside we had a, a little bit of warning on friday session and today we just collapsed from 0 0.76 all the way down to 0 0.74 for six so and ended up just at the uh, well just there which is well we could actually fall even further we didn't even get close to this um, uh, previous highs here but the entry point is basically the 20 exponential if we test that and rally then this could go higher but these technical indicators are looking dreadful for uh, cotton so expect this to uh, go lower if we break the 20 exponential, that opens the door to the 50 moving average at 0 0.7128. Uh, so let's look at cocoa. So a lot of people asked, asked me about this today, and um, my answer is still the same. As long as we have not broken the 20 exponential, do not expect this to go any higher. I know this has to rally significantly today. Uh, if you look at the Fibonacci retracement, I haven't done that today. We actually broke the 60, but technically rallied from the 61.8. And we rallied all the way to, uh, towards the 20 exponential, and then we found resistant. So we're still trading underneath the 20 exponential. Technical indicators are turning around. So if we get the MACD to cross the signal line, that is a very bullish indication. Uh, but we need to cross this uh, previous, this uh, this resistant line here in order to go higher. Um, so the bad thing with eToro is that they don't have a uh, Fibonacci projection. So that is, uh, it would be interesting to basically see where the projection for the Fibonacci is at this point. But that indication is basically not available on eToro. So um, that's too bad. But a break above the 20 exponential, that opens the door to these highs. That is at 2.643 and then to the very highs here at 2.816. Otherwise, if we break below the 50, that opens the door to the 200 and then 
much, much lower than that. So let's look at wheat. So wheat broke down towards the 20 exponential and then rallied again. This is a very, very encouraging sign. If we manage to take out these, um, these candlesticks here, then I am most likely going to buy into this because that means that we are going to test these previous size at 638. If we break below the 50 or the 20 exponential, then that is basically uh, not a really good sign. And that means that we're going lower. But this is a very encouraging candle and, uh, and we could basically go for a test of these previous highs. If you look at technical indicators, they are fairly mixed. MACD is bullish, the stochastic is bullish, the CCI is uh, turning around, and the RSI is flat at this point. But pay attention to what happens tomorrow. If we get a candlestick here, we take out these uh, previous highs, then we are going much higher. If not, we're going to retest these moving averages and probably go lower. So, so um, if you have any questions, you're welcome to write to me on the Patreon and I will answer them as well as I can. Otherwise, good luck and thank you very much.